experiences going from a, a psychotherapist to the depths of alcoholism and then back. Here is a cover of the book which is available now. Um, just uh, delving into it even slightly, it grabs you from page one. It's fascinating. And, and Maureen, I'm going to start with you because you have worked in production and television. Tell our viewers how you two met. I was on Plenty of Fish. I was dating and, you know, we just, my mom just read the book and she's 81 and she said, you met Mike on Plenty of Fish? You're internet dating? What are you doing? I met him. We met downtown. He came. I ordered wine. He ordered orange juice. And I said, why did you come on transit? <laughs> <laughs> and you said? I said, I don't have a driver's license. Mm. So riches to rags to riches again. Uh, your story. Uh, First of all, take us from where you were in the in the system, really helping people that were going through what you would eventually go through. Well, I've worked in the mental health and addictions uh, field for many, many years, and I had a private practice in Penticton, very successful practice. And then uh, my drinking progressed and progressed so severely. I was in, in stage alcoholism, and I make you got to read the book to get the full story. But <laughs> right. I, I ended up on a Greyhound bus and. Uh, and the bus driver had to wake me up. I fell out of the bus and I was in the downtown east side. I was penniless, right? You had a lot of doctor heal thyself going on in, yes, in this book. He sold his so. laptop for, the, for four beers. My last four beers, yeah. Brand new yeah, laptop. Brand new laptop. For four beers. Yeah. What is the Coach of Willingness? The Coach of Willingness is a real coach uh, in a recovery house in South uh, Surrey. And I was on that coach twice because I relapsed once while I was there. And I was on that coach for the first time in almost two weeks. And that's, it's called the Coach of Willingness because you're expected to surrender, uh, surrender to the program. And so you got to be completely and fully willing. And uh, it was a disgusting coach the one I was on. Yeah. <laughs> well, but it, it sure taught you a lot about who you are. And this book is fascinating, and you're very candid in it. It's interesting. You guys said that in the book that you went for coffee with your ex-wife, and she yeah. said, "I can't believe how you remembered all those horrific you're so details." Out of it. <laughs> you're right. I know. Um, I know. Okay, so Mental Health Week uh, starts today, runs through the 11th. Want to bring awareness to the system and how it fails those who need it most. You have worked in the system; it failed you. you you're in recovery now. You've been sober for. Five well, I'll be five years, years in five August. Years. Yeah. Right. Congratulations yeah, on amazing. that. Alcoholics Anonymous, was that your way? Alcoholics Anonymous was not for me. Right. You know, Why? It, it, it is the program to go to, uh, but I argue that uh, it doesn't work for a lot of people. And we need to find m other ways, and there are other ways that are evidence-based evidence and, and scientifically proven to work. That's and it's key. treatment. Yeah. You know, AA support. It's a great brotherhood or sisterhood. Uh, it's wonderful for that, but it is not treatment. In fact, I believe that it made me worse. I know that's, that's a statement. I'm stepping out in the, uh, on a well, limb here. Well, I think some of the things you're talking about, the, the stigma associated with relapsing, the shame and blame of not being able to complete the program, stay with the programs, why can't you make this program work, guy? Right. And I think that a lot of times people will relapse and go away and not even want to come back because of what's experienced. You're just so ashamed and, you know, we're already full of shame. I'm, you know, being an alcoholic, I mean, it's, it just goes with the territory. And then when you go into some of these, these uh, programs or centers, and 90% of them are 12-step based. Right. Really. Um, and also religious based in a specific wow. religion in, in a very in, diverse community. In some, in some of the 12-step programs. It's a 75-year-old uh, AA support group. And there are some wonderful men and women in AA totally. who actually helped Mike. Uh -huh. And I think what his key message is, is that this is a good thing for some people, but nine out of 10, it doesn't work for after five years. What do we do about those other nine out of 10? We need evidence-based, scientific, medical-based treatment. Your doctor should not be sending you to a support group as sole treatment. Right, my, and we could be my going. My medical on. addiction specialist, yes. the first thing he would say to us as soon as I came in for an appointment is uh, sobriety date? And I've told him my sobriety date. Uh, how many meetings have you been to? And because I had to go to three checklist. meetings a week. Yeah. There was this checklist, yeah, yeah. and it was all AA. So if there's somebody watching right now who has a loved one who is spiraling the way you did, and we're short on time, I could talk to you for an hour on this topic or longer. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody out there watching right now who has a loved one who is on their way down into that pit, what do you tell them to do to help? They need to get a hold of a, uh, an addiction specialist that is up to date 
with the current evidence-based treatments. It was a learning process for me the last three years writing this book because I had to research a lot and I went, holy cow, there's lots of things out there. There are lots of they, opportunities. You just got to find the, the specialist, the therapist that, that knows They can help you out and, and go to your GP and, and start there and, and mm -hmm. find out what your roads are because many people can't afford the treatment that they need the most. The Couch of Willingness is the name of the book. Uh, Michael Pond and Maureen Palmer, thank you for being You're here welcome. being so candid again. We thank could talk you, forever on this topic. So many people deal with it.